Good morning. I have to go across the harbor today to fix to fix my glasses. The disadvantage of living on a small island is that there isn't an optician or some place to repair your glasses. So weak. Get my nice little. They call this pattern the LV of Taiwan. <laughs> Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? The trusty IKEA bag. Woo! Sexy. Get my mask, cause you know, COVID. I always wear my helmet when I ride a scooter, cause my stupid brain is probably the best gift I have in this life. One thing I appreciate about being a resident on the island is that uh, my ferry ticket is just. 100 NT or about three US dollars. Uh, the normal price for visitors is about 230, which is seven dollars. 200 NT round trip, and you know, just taking a taxi in Taipei round trip to somewhere is about the same price. So, pretty good value to get across the harbor to take care of some stuff. We also get to queue up at the front of the line as a resident. So I usually stand on the outside of the ferry because of, well, it's just prevent getting COVID, isn't it? You see why I love this bag? So cheap, only 60, 70 NT at Ikea. So I just got off the ferry into Dongdong and I usually like walking around Dong Kong, get a little bit of walking exercise in, but it's kind of hot right now, so I'm just gonna borrow a scooter from, from the parking garage that we park our car at. They let me borrow the scooter, so nice. And a helmet, pink one. Uh, I just gotta fill up with a little bit of gas when I'm done with it. So they can't uh, fix my glasses, so they're just gonna put a new frame in. New glasses, fixed, all ready to go. Next stop, Starbucks, woo! The Starbucks is located just 20 minute walk away from the ferry terminal. Or if you drove, you can stop by here first quickly, grab yourself a cup of coffee before heading back up to Taipei or whatever, fully caffeinated. I absolutely love the nitro cold brew. It's practically the only thing I ever get, and only reason I ever come to Starbucks these days. This drink is infused with nitrogen, so it has the velvety, smooth, creamy texture, quite like that of the beers from the UK. And this branch in Donggang is not a bad looking uh, place, isn't it? A little bit of warning about the uh, nitro cold brew that is absolutely jacked with caffeine, and uh, it's okay now though. You know, a lot of caffeine used to set off my anxiety and panic attacks by, since I started freediving been okay but um, yesterday I was absolutely jacked with caffeine around four o'clock because I had about four or five espressos I was still able to sleep around 11 p.m. I just did some breathing exercise to calm down my heart rate and relax my nervous system yeah, I was able to at least get uh, still get a decent night of rest now why was I drinking so much damn caffeine or coffee uh, at so late in the day um, because I was learning how to make espressos because I'm gonna be working part-time as a barista at Island Bistro, which is opening up very soon, or by the time this video comes out. Uh, probably be working uh, in the afternoons on weekend. Find me there. Now time to get some fruit. It's pineapple season. What do I want to get? 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 What? And this is a custard apple, and it is the tastiest, tastiest, yummiest fruit in its entire world, or one of them. So give them a try. It tastes exactly like custard inside. I love bananas because they're just so damn easy to eat. So I got a papaya, some tangerine. I think that's called a Buddha's head. Or a custard apple, custard apple. Custard. Apple, pineapple, and I, of course I love my bananas. They even help you cut your pineapples. Fill up with some gas. Just returned the scooter now. Time to go get some lunch. As usual, I hit up my favorite 
bargain sushi place at the fish market to get the three colored fish over rice dish thingy. Yeah. Now time to get some sweets. These cakes are pretty famous or known in this fish market. And I don't know what to call it in English. The Mandarin name is called Shuang Gao Ren. But uh, it kind of tastes like, was it mochi? Flavored mochi, I guess is the best way to describe it. So pick some up for my wife. She loves it. Time to win some brownie points, huh? That was a super productive trip in under two hours. I got a lot of stuff done. Got some lunch and some sweets for me and my wife. And uh, yeah, I got some gifted some sweet potatoes as well. Uh, if you like this video, click like and subscribe would help me out a lot. And uh, I'll see you next time. There's no McDonald's on the island, so you know, residents go pick up some for their friends back on the island.